Hi everyone, I'm Chef Leroy and welcome to My Cozy Kitchen. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I certainly am. Uh, the weather here today is not very great. It is raining and it's around uh, the mid 60s at the moment, so it's a little chill. I was going to grill out, but I decided I'm going to cook in today. So what we are preparing today is a salmon. I'm gonna do a pan seared salmon. This is a steelhead farm raised salmon. I picked it up from Costco. So I'll show you how to cut it down and get it on that stove. Let's get the camera low, show you what's going on. Okay, so what do you need for your salmon to do your pan seared salmon? First of all, I got a pan on the stove already that's already heating up. I have a tray here with aluminum foil, helps just keep the pan clean. When I'm done, I can just throw the foil away. Just makes cleanup a lot quicker. All right, I do have a scale here as well, and my ounce scale. So I'm gonna set this here. I've got it covered up with a piece of plastic wrap that will keep that from being dirty from the fish. All right, so let's go ahead and pop the package open. It's a really nice looking filet here. Let's pull that side out. Okay, set it on your board. I got some paper underneath there. That away as well. All right, now we got to roll the tail out and the belly. Okay, there you go. That's a big piece of fish. Okay, let's cut her up. Okay, one of the first things I do is I'll trim out this, trim off this belly here. Okay, a little bit. So I'm gonna bring a knife down along here and just trim that off. Easier said than done. My knife doesn't want to cut through it. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to keep this. This works out really well with a pasta or a soup or anything else. Okay. Now I'm going to keep the skin on my salmon. But I want it to weigh out my fillets so I know how much I'm using here. This is this one here. Put on my scale. And that's just a little over eight ounces. Okay. Let's cut this one here. It's probably about the same. Yep, just a little over eight ounces. All right. So put that there. I usually like to cook an extra piece. Uh, then we can use it as a leftover through the week. Okay. So you want to cut these anywhere between, you know, six to eight ounces. Depends on how much you like to eat salmon. It's just shy of eight ounces. And then this is probably gonna be two pieces right here. We'll do the tail. Yep, that's a little over seven and a half. And the tail is about five. All right. Well, we got two meals. So this will be one. And this will be two, all right? Now we have this uh, belly piece. Now this stuff here I'm going to vacuum pack and I'll freeze it. Let's go ahead and take this salmon off the skin. Just run your knife right along the skin there and you can grab the skin and kind of start to tug on it like this while you're sliding your knife and it should come right off of there. Just like that. So you can make a nice little belt out of that. Beautiful, huh? Anyway, go ahead and discard the skin. So these pieces here, I'm going to season them. Let's move my knife out of the way. All right, so I've got a little olive oil in a bowl here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my salmon right on my tray that I have sitting here. And we use the same tray to bake the salmon on as well, okay? So let's go ahead and slide the board over. There you go, tray right in the middle, okay? Let's go ahead and drizzle some oil, this extra virgin olive oil, over your fish. Just like that, okay? Then we're gonna use some black pepper. I'm doing a lemon pepper salmon. 
Okay. And then we have my salt. Same thing, salt over the top. Easily. All right, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of garlic. A little bit of garlic on each one. Just like so. And go ahead and spread that around with your fingers. Beautiful, okay, flip them over. And do the same thing on the skin side. I always season both sides. Same thing, pepper. Salt. Now I don't have my lemon out yet. The lemon is gonna be the later process. So when my fish is pan seared, I'm gonna squeeze lemon over it and then I'm going to bake this as a closing method. So I'll bake my fish off. So I'm staging this for a later, a later meal here. So we're not eating right away. Again, move your garlic and your seasoning around your skin side. All right, and there you go. Go ahead and flip them back over. And let's go ahead and get those in the pan. All right, I am using my cast iron pan to cook my fish. Now what I'm going to do is take the filet and I'll put it skin side down first. And I should be able to get all three of them in here, looks like. Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna cook them for just a short amount of time on that skin side down. And then we'll flip them over Sear them off on the other side just a little bit too. As you can see, I'm cooking something else over here too. I'm actually, this is gonna be a complete meal when I'm done. I'm doing um, grilled eggplant with couscous and salmon. So this is a big batch here that I'm working for my couscous. But anyway, that's gonna be a whole, my, my completed meal and I will post a photograph at the end of the video to show you what the whole meal looked like when everything was complete. All right, let's check one of the fillets here and see if it's coming up. Might be sticking a little bit. I'm trying to keep the skin from sticking, but that's what it's doing. There we go. Okay. Nicely done. All right. Look at that skin. Doesn't that look beautiful? I like to do an oven method when I do my fish like this. I also do the same thing when I grill outside. I don't always cook my fish all the way through because again, we eat later on in the evening and this is earlier in the day. So I stage everything so it'll be trayed up. All I have to do is pop it in my toaster oven to finish it. So let's get that browned up nicely. All right, let's check that first filet that we did. So it looks. We're gonna let them go a little bit longer. At least a couple minutes. Get them nice and dark on that one side. Okay, let's go ahead and get those salmon off. Okay. Oh, good. Looking good. There you go. Nice. Okay, that stuck a little bit, not too bad. And shut your stove off and you are ready for baking. All right, so like I said, again, I'll do, uh, I'm gonna squeeze some lemon over my salmon and then we're, we're gonna have, go ahead and bake them. So I'll show you that. All right, we have our lemon here. Go ahead and cut it in half and squeeze over the salmon. Now, if you have any seeds come out, which I am, I'm gonna kick those off the salmon. You definitely don't wanna eat a lemon seed. So let's pop those off there. A Couple of them on top, this one here. Okay, just like that. So I'll squeeze the lemon over the top. All right, perfect. There you go. Salmon is ready for baking. 
All right, now again, like I said, I will show you what it looks like when everything is completed. Uh, hopefully it was easy enough to figure out. So what I'll do is I'm gonna cook these at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now they're pretty, you can see it's pretty raw inside here. And what, what'll happen is as the salmon cools down to room temperature, this will get a little, um, it'll set up a little bit. So it will take a little longer to cook in your toaster oven. Make sure you preheat it all the way to 350 and it could take about 20 minutes, okay? So anywhere between 15 to 20. I would definitely probably go with these thicker ones that I have here, I would probably do 20 minutes. All right, let's just do a recap on the video. Okay guys, well there you go. Uh, lemon pepper salmon. So again, I have uh, anywhere between a, a seven and a half to eight ounce filet. You can choose the weight that you want. I always buy the salmon at Costco. And generally I've been buying steelhead. I really like steelhead. For the longest time I was buying Atlantic salmon, but when steelhead came available, I started buying the steelhead. Just really like how it tastes. So then just give it a generous uh, amount of salt and black pepper on both sides, as you saw that I, and I also put oil on both sides as well. And then a little bit of garlic. That's all you need. Good for, um, squeeze of fresh lemon. Give them a bake for about like I said, anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes is probably all you'll need. I would probably go toward the higher uh, number of 20. And uh, anyway, you should have a beautiful piece of fish. Again, I will post a photo of my meal at the end of the video so you can see what everything looked like. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give me some thumbs up if you guys like it. Um, also, if you guys would subscribe, that'd be fantastic. Just helps the channel. I really appreciate those that have, that have subscribed up to this point. I really appreciate it. Hopefully the videos are entertaining and are knowledgeable or help you with some tips and knowledge for your meal planning that you want to do. Uh, most often, any type of fish that you want to do, you can do it this way and it comes out fantastic. Um, Otherwise, if you guys have any comments, please leave them in the comments below. I appreciate that, and I'll get to your comments as soon as I see them. Um, otherwise, Chef Leroy, and out. Mm -hmm.